Shalom, family. Peace, blessings, and love. This is the elder out of New Orleans, Louisiana, coming to you with another great and informative video. Peace, blessings, and love to all the melanated family and mankind. Well, family, the NFL and Roger Godell now admit that Colin Kaepernick was right about what he was protesting about. All of a sudden, they wait till somebody die to come up or feel like it, it, it wasn't what he was doing was, was wrong. His protesting was wrong. But what I got a problem with right now they got a lot of black players now they want to speak up. You want to speak up now. But four years ago, if every black NFL player would have said we ain't playing, that would have solved that problem right there. No, a lot of y'all were scared. I know you got your bills to pay, but bills and righteousness it's two different things. In the NFL, went out their way to boycott this brother. A lot of people say he sold out, he did this. I don't even want to hear that bullshit. He got rightfully blackballed because he was standing up for the, all this bullshit that's going on in America. Not only with the police department, but with all these other racist ass white folks they got running around doing all kind of evil shit to black people. And you black players should have been stood up. You, you, you're 80% of the NFL. If you wouldn't have played, if all y'all would have stood together and united together, then the slave owners of the NFL, because that's all it is, they would have lost big, big money. Because the NFL wouldn't, wouldn't be shit without black people. <laughs> the NBA wouldn't be shit without black people. And a lot of other shit wouldn't be shit without black people. That's right. But now they wait to, now they wait till somebody die in the street unjustly by a race soldier. Now they want to speak up. You should have spoke up four years ago. That's right, you need to keep your mouth shut now. What's the sense of talking about it now? When he has been uh, validated. And he ought to sue the NFL again. I think you got 80 million out there ass before I'll sue, the, I'll sue them bitches again for discrimination. Could that what? That, that, that's what it was. With the, the NFL been the uh, racist. That's right. The NFL been racist. A black quarterback couldn't even play in the NFL. And when the NFL first started, there wasn't no black people playing in no NFL. That's what a lot of these black players don't even understand. They was boycotting it in. Saying you couldn't play quarterback because you couldn't think. What the fuck it take to think to throw a fucking ball to another motherfucker? <laughs> they don't take no motherfucking brain surgeon to do that. But no, they don't want no black people to be no leaders. They, they're supposed to be the leaders. Yeah, lead you to hell. That's right, family. Well, family, uh, I'm going to cut this video short. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about the NFL, all of a sudden, they saying that Colin Kaepernick was right. Fucking right he was right. The only thing he was stand, protesting about is police brutality and injustice to black people all across the planet, on our planet. That's right. We're going to cut it short, family. We're probably going to do a Savage Day live stream later on. Peace, blessings, and love. Put up the likes and shares. 
and stay tuned for the next video live stream and I'm out.